I'm not even one of the artistic bullet journalers, and it still takes a little bit to get set up.
Hello everyone. I wanted to show you real quick <laughs> before we get into finishing this bullet journal because um, you just got done watching the clip where I was setting up my budget dashboard which is in these pages here and my um, monthly calendar right here. I got the Archer and Olive summer box, sub box, which I absolutely adore. It came with these five colors here of acrylographs and paint pens, and I spent a very long time playing with them. Um, got a little bit of decoration here. So I went ahead and used them to set up the banners on a couple of my spreads, like right here. And as you can see, I got paint everywhere. So I was using them as, I, I tried them out here as borders. Um, the brain dump title right there. Now, I accidentally, when I went ahead and used a pencil to outline everything that I needed to outline for setting up this bullet journal that I'm moving into for July and possibly the rest of the year. Um, I actually went in a little too hard with a pencil. So <laughs> it's really easy to see what I've got kind of mostly set up. Now, this is an Archer and Olive B5. It is the night sky. If this one is still available on the website, I will have it linked down below. Um, I'm not going to have this washi tape linked in the description. This washi tape does not hold on to its sticky. So yeah, that's why the glue sticks out. We've got these two sticky notes, which are gorgeous little watercolor looking swatches. I'm gonna be using these as some of my day headers. I will have these linked in the description if they are in stock on Stationery Pal. And that is going to be that. I will be using stamps here that are Dragonfly stamps. If your creative studio still has these in stock, I will have them linked in the description as well. So I'm going to hit play on my music. I'm gonna finish setting up my bullet journal and I will see you guys at the end for a flip through.
all right guys welcome back to the end of the video i do apologize if the light was doing weird things kind of like it is right now uh, that would be because it is monsoon season here in arizona which means my light there we go tends to be a bit inconsistent in the afternoons <laughs> so here we go we've got our calendar page the budget page in there my video dashboard leftovers spread We've got my trackers and with this being a b5 size i can put everybody on one page we've got the weekly the monthly things i need to make note of for next month my water my sleep and my temperature tracker i know that those dragonflies are really 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 faint but my theme for july because july is my birthday month was is dragonflies and Although that did get a little hijacked with playing with all the paint pens. My tasks list. This is a running tasks list. I'll be populating this at the end of the month when, um, cause I'm actually filming this like June 12th, <laughs> but because this is a brand new journal and I'm moving into it, um, going ahead and setting it up in advance was kind of necessary. And then we've got the start of my dailies. And you guys got to see me playing with the paint pens. Yes, hello Izzy, you can make an appearance here in a moment, okay? And you guys saw I tried the washi tape trick and it's just kind of like, no, I don't like doing this with my washi tape. And you can see, you could also see why I like the calligraphs just a little bit better because I just go swish, 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 and we're done. <laughs> And those are the calligraphs that were from the September, um, fall box from the Archer and Olive boxes. More playing with the paint pens, my brained up page, and my absolutely, I love this stamp the most. Um, my dragonfly right here. And then the brain dump pages are the pages that I expect to use a lot because those are where I'm going to be doing a lot of my long form journaling. I'm not using an Alistair method this month for July. Uh, I don't have a gratitude page for July. It feels a little bit like the gratitude pages are more of like a quarterly thing than they are a monthly thing for me. And that is going to be that for this particular bullet journal setup video for July. Um, keep an eye out because on Tuesday, I am also going to be uploading the garden journal, the house diary, and my business journal, my business bullet journal, I'm going to be putting in separate video because this one is probably already very long as it is. So, as always, Thank you so much guys for stopping in and sharing your time with me today. Hug your loved ones tight and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.